Two men are dead in Janesville, and this afternoon we're learning what police think happened. Well, they're describing it as a love triangle with a tragic ending. Adam Duxter is live with why even gun violence prevention efforts couldn't stop it. Adam? Yeah, well, police say all three people involved knew each other well and worked together in Stoughton when one man suspected the woman he was seeing was also seeing a man who lived here on the south side of Janesville. And that's when he came here last night and killed that man before killing himself. Police say the woman was at the home here in Janesville at the time, but she wasn't hurt by the 9 to 10 shots that were fired. Police also say given how close this house is to the others in the area, the fact that the shooting happened outside, they're glad that no one else was hurt. It is a tragedy for that family, uh, for both families actually. Um, you know, this is something that probably could have been avoided. Um, it sounds like perhaps the, the female could have reached out to the police department before the suspect got to Janesville, uh, but we're still working through that information and for some reason that didn't happen. And police are still keeping people back from the scene now, which is back behind this first row of homes behind me on Kellogg Ave here in Janesville. And they say they'll continue to have the perimeter of this scene until autopsies are for both men are complete. And police say under the new Marcy's law, we might not know the names of both individuals involved unless their families grant permission for their names to be released.